Hey guys, in this video I show you how you can manipulate a CSS variable using a JavaScript. There's not going to be a tutorial how to use a CSS variables. If you want that I make in the future one of those, you can just put me down in the comment section, okay? Uh, that's just going to be a quick example how you can connect it and how you can change the CSS variables with the JavaScript, okay? A uh, quick example, and the example is going to be uh, something similar, that, well, something that you can find in many modern pages nowadays. Uh, we're going to create a header and some content and some button-like elements of the theme that we have and footer. And we try to change with the color picker, we try to change the color of the theme, okay? Uh, oh, we use a color picker, like I said, we choose the, the color from there and all the theme is going to change, okay? probably you're going to get a better idea if we start with the example. Like I said, it's going to be something very sim uh, simple. If we start creating a simple structure, simple uh, page structure, we say, uh, first of all, that we need a header, then below the header, we need a container. Uh, we say a container and inside in the container, we need some content. We say a paragraph with a uh, Lorem, uh, let's go to say that we want a 200 words and because a code pen is using Emmet, so you can type a Lorem and then specificate the number of the words that you want and then you just press tab and it's going to put everything for you. That's going to give us a space and below, because I'm planning to put another paragraph, but um, in the middle we can put an element. There's going to be a button uh, with the class button uh, PTN because it's much more easy for us and then we say another space here and another paragraph with uh, Lorem, I don't know, let's go and say that uh, we want 300 here, okay, and in the end we just need footer, like any page, okay, there we go, let's go and give a little bit style of all this stuff, uh, first of all what I want is that I want in uh, in everything to apply that the margin is going to be zero that's just a prefixes and the other prefix that we want is for the padding so we say uh, the border sizing is going to be a border box means that the padding is uh, getting inside and it's not getting outside of the element okay and let's go to start with our header the header we say that we want to be a width of a uh, hundred percent and the height of 60 pixels okay and the background color actually is going to be our theme color okay and our theme color is going to be our variable okay so to declare our variable uh, we use a root uh, that's um that's a global scope okay what's mean is a similar like a body or uh, if you use a body to select a to give some style okay uh, but because we use a body for different uh, different styles. So we use the root, okay, to make the global scope here, and here we can declare our variables. The syntax is uh, uh, two lines, and then uh, you specificate the name of the variables. In our cases, uh, it's going to be a theme color, okay, and our theme color it's going to be a uh, ddt uh, white gray, okay. So uh, we can give this, we can use this theme color down there in our header, like let's go and say the background. We want a background color here. And to use it, you just say var and you specificate your theme color. And as you can see that we get it here. Um, let's continue with the styling of the rest of the elements. The container, the need one C here and the container we want that the maximum with uh, I don't know let's go and say the 500 pixels here then we wanted the margin uh, because we want uh, we want to center it so we say there is auto okay okay um, let's go to give a padding top padding top of I don't know 40 okay 40 pixels and Padding button, and I know that we can do this in one line, but I'm just lazy today. Padding button of 40 as well. Okay, 
let's going to give a style of our footer so we say the footer here and we say the width of 100 percent um then the height of 60 okay and then the background color we going to use actually our variable there it's gone oops sorry it's going to be a team oops team color okay that's going to be our footer done and i think that we just have to start the button the button okay btn and the btn the width is 120 the height is i don't know 40 for example and uh the background color is going to be our theme color okay we put it on here okay so what we want now is that we want to put a color picker just here in the top and with the color picker we can choose uh the color for our theme okay to put the color picker what we do is that we go in our header because we want to put in the header and we say the input and it's going to be of type of color okay and then let's go and say uh, we need id to uh, make it easy for us to select it after that with the javascript and we say uh, theme color okay and then we need some uh, base value a value that we can start from there and the value obviously it's a good idea if we put just the color that we use now for the moment so it's going to be a consistent okay and as you can see this one is going to get a same color that what we use now uh, let's go to center this stuff a little bit more so what we can say is that in the header we can say one display flex and then we can say align item center uh, we can give a padding of i don't know 20 pixels for example and this look fine and the color picker actually is opening the your operative system color picker uh, so it's depending on the browser and the, the operative system that you're using okay we're not styling this stuff because they're quite complicated to style uh, what we do now is that let's go to start with our javascript here so first of all let's go to select our uh, uh, no, it's going to be a the team color and the team color is going to uh, we we can select uh, well, actually what we're doing now sorry and uh, what we're doing now is that we're selecting our input so from here after that we can uh, put some event and as well we can get the the value that we getting from the color picker okay so to oh, we need one air okay so uh, to select it we going to select it by id so we say document get element by id and inside we specificate our id okay so far so good what we can do now is that uh, we can put some event listener so we say add event listener and the event listener in our case uh, we want that it's in change okay obviously because when we change the color uh, we can make some stuff okay change and after that it's going to happen in the function in our case we can use the arrow function we need the event uh, so uh, from here we can get the target element and you see what i mean by that actually let's go to uh, let's go to console walk to see that we do everything correctly from here we need the target the target element okay so the target element in this case is going to be obviously our uh, color picker okay in code pen you can open the console just down there you have a button that is called console you can open it from here and let's see that we can get the color once when we close uh, well the color we get the target element as you can see here perfectly okay what's important for us is that we have to take uh, the value okay why we need to take the value because then with the value uh, we set in our document well we get the document with the document element 
which is going to be the root element, okay? And there we're going to change uh, the styles that we have applied it there. And one of the styles, one of the paths that we want to change, obviously, because uh, we can select the header and we can change the background automatically here, okay? But we, we, we don't want to do this. What we want to do is that we just want to change, uh, like I said, in the root element, we want to change the theme color. Because once when we change the theme color, that's going to apply and all the styles here, okay? So uh, that's we can make it very easy. The document, and then you say the document element, like we say, we, we select the root here, and we say style. Okay, we not select the root, we just uh, applying these styles, uh, CSS uh, styles in the root. Okay, we're not selecting nothing here, sorry about that. Uh, styles and then we say uh, set properties okay set property and in set property the first it's going to be which property we want to change and in our case we want to change our variable which is a team a team color okay and we want to change our variable variable uh, applying uh, actually, I don't, sh yeah, I can show you here. I show you just that when we change, let's go to put this here. Okay. Uh, what I mean by that is that, it, as you can see, that the target element is that one. Okay. And if we put value, obviously, we get the value from the target element. Okay. So, obviously, we want this value to be uh, the new value of our theme color variable. Okay. What you can make is that you can make a new variable here, JavaScript variable, and assign uh, the target value of this variable. And using the variable here, it's going to be more clean. But, like I said, quick example, and I'm lazy today. Okay. So let's go to change to see what's happening. Let's go to put a beautiful red. And voila. As you can see, we change all the theme color here and it's quite easy. Okay. A simple example. And it did just to give you an idea how you can manipulate uh, the theme uh, colors. And from here, probably you can do so much more stuff. But that's a that's you. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope so that you enjoyed it. I know there was a long time without videos, but I was quite busy actually. If you like the video, just give us a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe it so I can make more videos for you guys. And like I said, if you think that something that, uh, that the CSS variables could be something that is interesting for you, just let me know down in, in the comments and I can do something for you like always. Okay. Thank you guys. See you in the next time. Bye.